If you are a researcher, a clinician, a journalist or a fitness expert who wants authentic information which is backed by scientific literature for various purposes like writing a research paper, a thesis, blogs, news or even for consultation, then today's video is going to be very very helpful for you. Performing a Google search can be easy but it may not always provide reliable and science backed information. And similarly, AI-powered tools like ChatGPT may refer to irrelevant resources. Using Google Scholar, PubMed and other such search engines to find scientific papers published in reputed journals require a lot of time scrolling, clicking individual papers to get critical information. This makes literature search so much cumbersome process. Therefore, in this video, I will tell you a powerful AI tool that will solve all these problems. The name of the tool is Consensus. It provides authentic science-backed information, can do literature search, summarize research papers, provide detailed insights, and key takeaways of individual research papers without clicking or navigating through different tabs. Its Copilot feature generates a synthesized summary analyzing multiple papers along with their references. It can even draft an outline for a research paper or a review. It can help you find supporting and contrasting cases for your argument. Consensus automatically format citations and provide references in various styles that can be used with Zotero and other search reference managers. So you see, Consensus has all necessary features that a researcher needs for their research. Do watch this video till the end, else you will miss out some of the interesting features. Let's search for Consensus AI. Here you get an option to log in. I subscribe to the premium plan so that I can try out all the functionalities of Consensus. And here is a neat and clean web page of Consensus AI. You can begin your search writing a query or a question. Consensus searches through over 200 million academic papers from Semantic Scholar database across various fields based on your query. There are several ways you can frame a question to the consensus. You can simply ask a yes or no question. For example, does Ashwagandha improve sleep quality? Or you can ask for relationship between two things. For example, what is the impact of forest fire on global warming? Or you can ask open-ended questions like the advantages of gene editing technologies. Or you can ask questions like what is the best remedy for obesity? For example, I want to get information about how exercise affects blood sugar level in diabetic patients. Within a few seconds, it will analyze and provide a synthesized report based on the question asked along with the literature referred. It provides a short summary based on the analysis of 10 relevant papers. It says this study suggests that the exercise improves glycemic control in both type 1 and type 2 diabetic patients. As you scroll down to the copilot, which has ChatGPT like functionality, it will provide a more detailed summary of the top 10 research papers along with the references and conclusion. You can check out the individual references as you scroll down. The great thing is that it provides summaries of individual papers that you can instantly read without even opening the entire paper or navigating through different tabs. Below each paper referred, you can check out the journal name, author detail, total citations and year of publication. You can save the results, share it to others and also download the citations in different formats that can be used in various reference managers like Zotero, Mendeley and EndNote. You can check out my detailed tutorial about them. The link is given in the description below. Another interesting and a very very useful feature of Consensus is that you can get a snapshot of this study at one place. You will get information related to the population studied, sample size, method used, for example randomized controlled trial or meta-analysis or other, and also the key outcome of this study. You can also see if the study is published in a reputed journal based on the size score of the paper. And the size score depends upon how well the study was planned, how samples were collected, analysis were performed, citations, etc. Below each paper, you can also see what kind of a study it is. If it is a meta-analysis, RCT, systematic review or an observational study. You can also check if the paper is highly cited. By default, it loads 10 papers and provides the analysis based on it. But you can click on load more to get information about more such relevant papers. Another great thing about this tool is that you can export summaries of all the research papers in .csv format that can be opened in Excel or a spreadsheet. 
Here you can see all the useful information like title of the paper, key takeaways, authors, year of publication, total citations, abstract of the paper, study type like RCT, meta-analysis, systematic review, observational study, DOI of the paper and the consensus link. Another useful thing is that you can filter your search based on the year of publishing, access type, citation count, study type. You can read about each study type by hovering the cursor over it. You can also filter paper based on the journal rating, domain of the research and the country where the study took place. Suppose I want to filter papers published since 2015. I only want data from open access articles with randomized control trials. Then I click on apply. Depending upon the filter criteria, the response can change. Another useful feature of consensus is consensus meter. It answers to a yes or no question based on the research papers it analyzes. Here I have asked, does exercising improves glycemic control in diabetics? You can ask similar sort of questions to get a yes or no answer along with the referred study. The consensus meter on analyzing 17 different papers suggests that 82% studies confirm exercising does improve glycemic control in diabetics. 18% papers show possible role of exercising. Let me apply some filters like studies with RCT and we choose location of a study to be India. Now let's see how the results changes. You can see based on the selected filters, all the 9 papers analyzed or 100% studies suggest that exercising does improve glycemic control in diabetics. You can refer the co-pilot section for more detailed summaries and also referred papers at the bottom which have predicted a yes or no to our question. You can save the searches and also the research papers of your interest for future. You can create a new list for different projects to keep them organized. Here I am selecting two papers to save. The panel on the left shows your search history and the list of papers. You can click on the list to check out the papers you have saved and searches you have made. Based on the questions you ask, Consensus also provides suggestions for other relevant questions you may ask. This can be very helpful in literature search as many a times researchers are not clear about the question. These suggestions can help them. You can also ask Consensus Copilot to generate an outline for a research article or a review paper or your post. For example, I wanted to draft an outline for a research paper on the effect of exercising on blood glucose. See how perfectly it has drafted an outline for abstract, literature review, methodology, results, discussion and even the references. Based on this, you can begin your writing. You may check the references to get information about relevant research papers you may refer for writing the manuscript. The chat GPT-like feature of consensus helps you ask your query and get response in the form of chats. Depending upon the query, you can get simple explanation in articles, all that are backed by scientific literature. For example, I wanted to write a scientific blog on health benefits of consuming beetroot. You can modify your query as you wish or specify certain things. You can see how quickly it has started generating a blog post. You see it has not only generated a response but it is backed by scientific literature. You can click on the paper cited and it will redirect you to read the entire paper referred for more detailed study. You can even ask follow up questions and based on your previous queries it will provide an appropriate response. With so much to offer right from literature search, yes and no answers to your questions, generating an outline for an article, providing list of literature along with the summaries, snapshot of individual papers, chat GPT like functionality and several useful filters to improve your search, the AI powered tool can save a lot of your time and efforts in finding relevant papers and providing useful insights. Providing these many functionalities, I must say you should give this tool at least a try. 
and for the students there is a special discount of 40 percent on the premium plan let me know in the comments which feature of the consensus you like the most check out my detailed playlist on ai tools research and publishing that can make your academic writing journey a lot easier thanks and stay connected for more such interesting videos